Hello learners, welcome to lecture 3. This is a take off from where we ended in lecture 2 that is sign posting. This particular lesson will actually give many useful gambits or the gambits I was referring to in my previous lesson for different uh, functions during your presentation. What are the di different language patterns, different gambits that you can use. Let me write this. I have uh, this word G A M B I T S. Gambits are useful language patterns which you normally, uh, many people uh, they come across as less effective speakers because they do not know the right linkers to use when they are shifting from one phase of their presentation to the other. Now, when it comes to openings, how do you open your presentations? Many people have problem opening their presentations. Uh, of course, you can always open with a, an anecdote, with a joke, with an incident. But what are the language patterns? How, how are you going to actually use language there? So I have listed some of these gambits here. For instance, I am here today to report dash and to present dash. When I say dash, I mean blank. You can fill up the context. I am here today to report dash and to present dash. Then you can also say the same thing differently. My purpose today is dash. My main aim this morning is blank, blank or dash. The title of my presentation is like the way I have used to indicate the title of my lecture. My topic today is blank. Now, when, from openings, when you come to organizations, there are a whole lot of gambits that you can use. You can say, I have divided my presentation into these many sections. Or, the first point I wish to make is dash. Or, the first part of my presentation will deal with dash. Or, firstly, dash. Or, you can say, secondly, I want to. Finally, I would like to talk about, in conclusion, let me summarize my speech to conclude. So, these are some of the widely used effective ways of organizing the signposts by which you show where you exactly what you are trying to say, at what stage you are. Then how do you draw attention to the audience, uh, of the audience to the particular issue at hand? Uh, gambits like as you will notice or as you can see, I would like to draw your attention to, you will note that we have discussed this earlier. Then how do you link one idea to the other, one sentence to the other? Uh, this kind of a shift from one idea to the other, people find find it difficult for lack of these gambits, knowledge of these gambits. Examples are, as I said earlier, as I mentioned earlier, we shall move on to dash or later I will be talking about dash. In addition to, for this reason or on the other hand, to look at some of the other options, some advantages and disadvantages in this pro proposition R dash, if this is one side of the picture, the other side is this. If we look at the picture holistically, we find dash. Holistically means completely from all round perspective. Then how do you change subject? Two important ways are moving on to the question of, let me now turn to this topic. Then how do you emphasize? That is emphasizing what we have to realize is this or what I find most interesting is this or what I am getting at is so and so. Then how do you introduce evidence to show evidence? Examples, if you look at dash, 
Let me show you that this is it. Let me explain that. Then coming to making recommendations, how do you recommend a certain course of action to your audience? Examples are, I strongly urge that all of you should visit these links to further your knowledge. That is one way. You ought to visit these websites uh, which are listed at the end of the lectures to reinforce whatever you have been learning in this module. I recommend that you visit these web links. I think you all should visit these web links. So these are the different ways. And how do you sum up your presentation? Simply you can say, let me now sum up. To summarize my main points, to recapitulate, recapitulate is the short form for recapitulate is recap. You can also say for a quick recap. Because it's slightly longish word, people use a short form for a quick recap, they say, recollection of the points. And then you summarize. Then at the end of this lecture, again I have given you uh, these links uh, which I had given earlier. You will find more about presentation skills in these links. Thank you learners.